Hey guys, it's Reflex, and in today's video, we're covering the new DLC known as the Battle of Shadow and Light. So, guys, last week in one of the Halo Waypoint articles, they officially announced that it's going to be not 10, not 20, not 30, not 40, but 48 wrecks officially coming to Halo 5. Not only were we teased with big team battle and the new rep pack items, but we were also shown one of the new items known as the Tracer armor set. And I'm not gonna lie, it did look like a floating orb on top of the Spartan's head. Now moving away from floating orbs, we're also shown one of the new armor sets known as the Shinobi Armor. Now this armor set has a really distinct appearance to it and 3 have really been able to capture the ninja essence within this actual armor itself. Now for those of you guys who think they're ninjas within the Halo 5 Gardens game, this is definitely the armor set for you guys to use. Blue team, halfway to victory. But let me remind you that this is an ultra rare item, so good luck trying to get it. However, armor sets won't be the only thing we'll be seeing in next week's update. We'll also be seeing the new light rifle known as a dying star. And it actually looks pretty cool and I might actually use it myself. Because we don't actually see that many light rifle variants within the game. And it's good to see that 3 for 3 are starting to implement all these new weapons and designs. Moving from the light rifle variants, it's also been confirmed that the Tundra and Woodland vehicle camos will be confirmed in Halo 5 Guardians as well. Now we all know how much we love all the assassinations within Halo 5 and honestly this might be one of the best assassinations that 3 for 3 have produced within the Halo game. Even though there isn't really much competition because the only other game is Halo 4, but still you get the point that I'm trying to make. Now as we all know, assassinations is a massive thing within the Halo franchise. And honestly, Halo 5 has really stepped it up since Halo 4. Although there's a lot fewer assassination combinations, I think we can all arguably say that Halo 5 has some of the coolest assassinations within the Halo franchise itself. Now although the assassination doesn't sound as deadly as the animation itself, I think this might be one of the coolest assassinations we've seen of all time. Yeah, not only be seeing knives shoved into people's heads, but we'll also be seeing the new Mantis variant known as the Tundra Mantis. Now guys, here's just a brief description of what Halo Waypoint has to say about this new vehicle. Relatively high ground pressure, hamstrings the Mantis in some boggy and snowy environments, but its onboard fusion power plant has innumerable uses in remote campaigns. Not only that, but they've improved the Mantis with extra armor as well. So guys, it sounds like the Mantis has had a bit of a buff within this variant, and honestly, if I'm able to use this within Warzone to improve my KDR, then heck yeah, I'm gonna use this thing. So guys, as this video comes to a close, I just wanna notify you guys that the Halo Master Chief Diamond Crusted Helmet sold for $34,000. That is a ridiculous figure, and honestly, if I could get my hands on that helmet, I would, but I'm broke, so that's never going to happen. Not only that, but for you Doubles fans out there, it's just been confirmed that Team Doubles is going to be within the Halo 5 Guardians playlist for this weekend only, and it's going to include increased XP. So for you Halo 5 enthusiasts out there, I definitely recommend playing the game this weekend. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up for today's Halo news coverage. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Also guys, while you're in the description, you might as well go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We're so close to 400 followers on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for that as well. Anyway guys, sounds like Team Doubles is calling me. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Anyway, it's been Reflex. Until next video, stay safe and have a good day. Peace.